Algebra 2, 1.2a, multiplication of real numbers, positive and negative. When we multiply real numbers, we multiply their absolute values. So here's a table that'll tell you what happens when we multiply with positives and negatives. If we're multiplying together two positives, our answer is positive. Two negatives, our answer is positive, because their signs are like. It's when their signs are unlike, that's when the answer is a negative. See that? We multiply and get the absolute value. So if we have a positive 5 and a negative 7, the absolute value of them multiplied is a 35. And because the signs are unlike, our product is a negative. We multiply the absolute values. 1.2 times 3 is 3.6. They have unlike signs, a positive and a negative, so our answer is a negative because they're unlike. See? When they're like, whether positive and positive or negative and negative, we're going to get a positive answer. We multiply and get the absolute value multiplied. 6 times 4 is 24. And because they're both the same, they're like, our answer is going to be positive. Here we have unlike again. We have a negative 1 7th and a positive 2. We multiply their absolute values and we get 2 7ths. And because they're unlike signs, a negative and a positive, we have a negative for our product. Now take a look at what happens when the constant, this positive 2 is the constant. It's the same. It's not changing. It's the same thing. When we multiply it, you can see what happens. We go from positives, and then when we get into negative 1 and negative 2, now our answers, our products, are negatives, aren't they? And the same thing if our constant is a negative. We have negatives until we get into the negatives and we have like signs, and then our answer is a positive. See that? Our next video is 1.2b, and we're going to talk about the division of real numbers and the multiplicative inverse. And if you want to link to rational and irrational numbers, addition of real numbers, or subtraction of real numbers, well, we just did those, all you have to do is click on the description of this video, and the, you'll see links. All right? Okay. We're going to move on and talk about division and multiplicative inverse. I'll see you there. Bye.